Review time, pot. So let's look at the numbers here. There are 2,382 delegates needed to win. We're talking about the Democratic nomination. Clinton has 1,761 delegates. Panders has 1,073. Somebody is closer than the other one. Clearly it is Clinton. We see here she is almost there or he or whatever it is. And you wonder to yourself, how is this possible? Well, you see, she really got this much. But wait a minute. Wait, super delegates are added to the delegates she won. So it bumps up her number, which will get her closer to that number right there, which will help her get the nomination. This guy right here has no chance. And you say to yourself, well, what is a super delegate? I'm very glad you want to know that because I have your answer. Super delegate. They say it's in the Democratic Party, an unelected delegate who is free to support any candidate for the presidential nomination at the party's national convention. Funny how they say any candidate. Oh no, it won't just be any candidate. It will be the selected candidate they knew they were gonna pick at the beginning. Because you see, these super delegates are not super like you think. And when I say super, you know, I'm meaning like something likable, like Super Mario. Everybody likes Super Mario. You can't hate Super Mario. These people are freaking lobbyists. That's right. Nearly 10% of the super delegate are lobbyists. Slimy individuals. The last joke is you want selecting anything for you. But it's worse than that. It's not just the freaking lobbyists. Who else are the super delegates? You thinking it's like people, you know, just regular people? No, no, no. Super delegates are elected officials like President Obama, former presidents Bill Clinton, Jimmy Carter, these type of guys. So remember, it's these type of people who are the super delegates. What else? 24 governors, 40 senators, 193 representatives. These people make up the super delegates, and all these people are sellouts working together for one goal, one agenda, and that's enslaving your tail, but you, you ain't ready to learn all that. But look, many of the remaining 463 convention delegates are establishment insiders who get their status after years of donations and service to the party. What the heck? So who the heck are these jokers? Dozens of the 437 delegates in the DNC member category are registered federal and state lobbyists. And so we talked about that already. Let's keep it going though. In fact, when you remove elected officials from the super delegate pool, at least one in seven of the rest are former or current lobbyists registered on the federal and state level. That's at least 67 lobbyists who attend the convention as super delegates. Majority of them have already committed to supporting Hillary Clinton for the nomination. Now, isn't that very interesting? It's probably not what you thought it was at first. Tucker's talking about an unelected delegate who is free to support any candidate. Yeah, right. We're talking about a rigged election, and we will look into this further. But before we do that, let me just break it down even more so you understand this. You don't pick the nominee. The super delegates pick the nominee. And you're saying to yourself, well, we vote. So what does that even mean? Why do we vote? Well, you vote to suggest. You're telling them, hey, you know, we really like this person right here. We would like it if you pick this person for the nominee. We really hope you do. We would really like that very much. And the superdelegate could decide to listen to what the people are saying or... They could just do what they normally do and go along with the agenda that they had at first. Red Silver J, Twitter man, Twitter man, Twitter man. All I gotta say.